Hello everyone, we are going to be starting our math review today for Unit 7. Um, like I said, Unit 7 is split into two parts, so you're going to notice that we didn't do all the lessons for it. We're going to be coming back to those other lessons later. These are the lessons that really just were focusing on geometry. Um, for this test, it's also going to be a little, I should say for this review, it's also going to be a little bit different because we're not going to be doing all of the questions on all the pages because some of it is for the other lessons on unit seven. Um, so while we're going through this, um, I'm gonna try to do my best to explain which numbers you're gonna do. And it, the only pages that are a little confusing are the first couple. Um, so for the first page, um, when not showing you, I'm gonna go to Schoology here first. Um, sorry, I'm gonna go to, have to go to the a different spot to show you the test on my side as I'm recording this video. Uh, sorry, everybody. Okay, so when you go into it, you're going to see on page number one, there's two questions on it. You're not going to do number two. You are only going to be doing question number one. Um, so right now, if you want to, why don't you open up um, page 479, it's that first page, that review page, the first page, um, and send it to Notability. When you have it open, um, you can, on Notability, you can even just circle number one. So if you want to pause the video, get that page opened, and then you can come back to the video here, but just circle number one. That's the only one you're going to do. And that's kind of how I will just do this review. Just, as always, just one page, one part at a time. So, for question number one, it says, write the letter for each shape in the box that describes the shape. So, we did this on some of our lessons where we really are focused on those characteristics. Thinking about the sides, the vertices, the angles. So, I'm just going to... What the way I recommend you to do this is to take each shape one at a time. So I'm going to start with A right here. Um, to me, this looks like a... What shape is it? Go ahead and say it. Looks like a square to me. Um, it has four sides. Uh, definitely book corner angles, so right angles. And I should also say that those four sides are equal. So, that, and that's really what makes a square a square. So, is it a quadrilateral? Yep, so we're going to put the A there. Is it a parallelogram? Well, parallelogram, it's, remember, and oh, you know, and that's the big part. We should even be spending some time here, too. A quadrilateral is a four-sided shape. A parallelogram has two pairs, just two, two pairs of parallel lines. Perpendicular sides, remember that those are ones that have, I'm gonna switch to blue here. Perpendicular means right angles. That goes there. This goes here. And then all sides the same length. Um, you know, so the example is, I'm just going to write a square there to give you the example of all sides the same length. So, back to this first shape here. I, I'm calling a square. Um, two pairs of parallel lines. Well, let's look at that shape. Does it have two pairs of parallel lines? Um, well, the top and the bottom are parallel. That's one pair. Left side, right side, parallel. Yeah, two pairs. So I can also write A in this one. Perpendicular sides, does it have right angles? What we already talked about, yeah, it's a square because it has four right angles. So A can go in that spot. And then all sides the same length. Yes, as best as I can tell, I didn't take a ruler or anything, but best I can tell, yeah, it's gonna fit in that spot. So um, what I actually want you to do is I want you to do just question number one. Stop here and then come back to check your thinking and your work. So you're going to do the rest of those shapes. 
just like I did. A fit in all of them, but it's not gonna be the same for all of those shapes.